They will do the deeds of the people of paradise as it appears to the people. That's how it appeared to people. They were doing the deeds of the people of paradise. They were praying in the mosque. They were praying the five times daily prayers. They did make Ramadan. They did go to Hajj. How many Hajjes? But the Prophet ﷺ said, they will be from the people of hell. Who is he talking about? He's talking about those who made their worship of Allah a ritual. A blind ritual, a custom, a tradition, not worship. So brothers and sisters, we should take our daily prayers very seriously. None of us knows which prayer will be our last. There was a picture which circulated on the internet last year or maybe it was the year before of a man in Medina in prostration who had died in his prostration he had prostrated and never got up from that prostration who of us knows when our time is to come so we have to treat this commitment, this responsibility seriously. We cannot afford to play with it. Every prayer counts. And that's how we should treat our prayers. Though others may question the issue of five times daily prayer because they see it as a ritual I've heard others say to me you all pray like robots you program the robot he gets up for Fajr he makes his Dohor prays his Asr, Maghrib, Zisha whereas we pray when we feel it in our hearts when we feel Allah, God in our hearts, this is when we turn to Him and pray. So our heart is fully in the prayer. Whereas you guys, it's just Fajr. Five o'clock, get up, pray. Luhur, twelve o'clock, pray. Asr. But we say, I said, If you only pray when your heart feels it, what if you never felt it in your heart the whole of the day? Or the whole of the week? Or the month? Or the year? Years may go by and you never feel it. So you never pray. When is it that you feel it and you pray? When calamity strikes. This is when most people pray when calamity strikes so you don't pray all along when the calamity hits you then you're there praying oh God oh God oh God so what kind of prayer is that should we turn to God in calamity oh yes of course we should but if that's the only time we turn then really what is the difference between us and the non-Muslim, the non-believer, one who even denies God's existence, who when he finds himself in a situation where there is absolutely no hope, he knows he's finished. He's flying on that 747, first class, looks out the window he's got a good view he sees one of the engines of the plane fall off the pilot balances it he looks over the other side sees another engine fall off and then the plane starts to go 
that way from 60,000 feet he's going to be hitting the ground he knows it's all over so what does he do he says that's life no he doesn't say that you see him raise his hands and he says oh God oh God oh God even though he never mentioned God all through his life but at that time where there's no hope you will find him praying harder than those who believed in God so what then is really the use of prayer which only comes out of desperation as they say desperate people do desperate things what is the what is the good of that prayer like Pharaoh right crossing the Red Sea after Moses he sees the water up both sides this is a miracle before his eyes but his head is on Moses I'm gonna get this guy and then when the water comes he's turning ah, I believe in the God of Moses what, what was the use of it then no use before he was saying I'm God he didn't say it then so Allah prescribed for us prayer at different points in the day to keep us in contact with him to maintain that regular contact with Allah that is the purpose so when we enter into prayer we should enter into prayer with that awareness that this is our regular contact our regular communication with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that between the prayers the effects of that communication should rub off we should be affected by the prayer as Allah said in the salah that salah prevents evil speech and evil deeds so if between the prayer we are evil managers we are the manager the director but everybody looks at us as evil we oppress those who work for us we are oppressors we curse those who don't do it right they made a mistake first thing comes out of our mouth is a curse word you this and you that but we're praying five times a day the prayer didn't affect our deeds and our speech then we're only doing a ritual I ask Allah SWT to bring the reality of prayer back into our lives and to make that prayer our expression of Tawheed that we know Allah and turn to him truly seeking his guidance I pray that Allah forgive us for what has passed our faulty and deficient prayers of the past and that he help us make a new road forward truly in worship of him أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذم فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. I say that asking Allah to forgive myself and 